The preliminary business meeting of the 73rd World Science Fiction Convention will be in order. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm glad to see a lot of new faces here, and that will be my first question here. Uh, you don't have to answer if you want to, but I'd like to ask for a show of hands. For how many people here, by show of hands, how many of, the, of you are at your first WSFIS business meeting? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, as a bit of contrast, I'd like to ask a different show of hands. Roughly speaking, how many of you here believe you have been at at least 10 WSFIS business meetings? <laughs> Thank you. How many of you are coming? Now, the reason I show those two things is I'm actually speaking to both groups of you in this next statement. We have a lot of new faces here who are unfamiliar with procedure, and we have a lot of people who are very familiar with procedure. I ask all of you to respect each other on this. I'm not going to try and run roughshod over you, but I'm also not intending to run a seminar on parliamentary procedure. We will do our best to balance these things, as I said in the opening video. I am the chairman, Kevin Stanley. Let's go to the second slide. And I will be presiding over the meeting except at certain points in the meeting when I'm obliged to recuse myself for certain reasons. Most of the time, my deputy, Jared Dashoff, will preside in those cases, although there is actually one exception to that, which we'll get to on uh, Saturday, yes. <laughs> to the far right is the parliamentarian, Donald Eastlake. Don is responsible, uh, among other, many other things, for keeping the video projection running and handling the slide deck. If you had any presentations you were intending to present at any of these meetings today and did not get them to him by now, you are too late. But if you have something intended for later in the con, you can talk to him uh, after the close of this meeting. To my left is the absolute hardest person, working person in WUSFIS, Linda Deneroff. Thank you. Linda has the job of being secretary of the business meeting, and therefore a member of my staff, and she is also the WUSFIS division manager, which means she is also my boss. <laughs> it's a good thing we like each other. <laughs> At the far left is our timekeeper, Jesse Pershing. <laughs> Jesse is responsible for keeping track of time and debates. Time is limited, as we said. Uh, when time has run out, she will ring the bell. Uh, you do need to stop speaking and yield the floor when the, when the bell rings on you. Uh, there may be some things today that have time limits imposed on them. Primarily, she's keeping track for the rest of the Worldcon. Those are the head table staff. We have other people who are staff of the meeting. Uh, the Sergeant at Arms is Joyce Reynolds Ward. And Joyce has a number of staff. Could the staff raise their hands here at this point? Wait, let people know where the, look around here. The, the Sergeant at Arms, the Assistant Sergeant at Arms job is are keeping things moving around, people moving, getting people to where they need to be. If necessary, running the remote microphone to people who have mobility problems and are unable to come to the head table mic. Uh, and anything of that nature. And additionally, at the back of the room, we have the technical staff, which is Lisa Hayes and her assistant videographers. Yay. This meeting is being recorded. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, unless otherwise voted, this session will be recorded. And if you are in this room, your voice and image may appear in that recording, probably will actually. Uh, these videos will be posted to the YouTube Worldcon Events channel, so go to YouTube and search for Worldcon Events. Um, part of the technical ability to do this recording uh, in a timely manner has been underwritten by a grant from DEPCON 1, who paid for additional technical equipment, and we're very grateful to them for that. And because the recording cartridges have a capacity of approximately 30 minutes, we will have a short technical timeout approximately every 30 minutes to change cartridges out. It shouldn't take more than a minute or two. Let's go to the next one. The procedural notes, you heard that in the opening. You please come to the microphone to speak into it. Note your presence on the attendance list. If you didn't get a chance to do so when you come in, there'll be time afterwards. Just make sure you're in there. Um, there are business meeting attendee ribbons that have been distributed. And, uh, oh, yes. Please silence any devices that go bing or ping or anything of that nature. 
<laughs> you have an exception. And in my case, because I'm double-barreled, I have to do it on both of them. Here, I'll do it after I sit down. Now make sure that. And if you do have to take a call, please do not take it in this room. Please take the call and exit the room as quickly as you can. All right, let's move to postpone indefinitely. A new rule was adopted last year called postpone indefinitely, which is uh, a, subs a replacement for the older procedure of objection to consideration. Uh, after, well, in fact, very late in the process, the, the committee that checks the WSFIS rules for consistencies, the nitpicking and flyspecking committee, noticed at that um, there's a slight inconsistency between what we adopted and a different standing rule. Uh, let me explain what the purpose of postpone indefinitely is, and then I'm going to recognize Mr. Illingworth of the committee to uh, get, we're going to jump straight to item B26 uh, to try and deal with that inconsistency. Uh, the purpose of postpone indefinitely, which can be made only at the preliminary business meeting, is to kill the targeted motion for the duration of the current Worldcon. It doesn't put it on next year's agenda. It doesn't prohibit it from being ag adopted next year. It simply postpones it beyond the end of this Worldcon. When the Worldcon business meeting adjourns, any business that we have not resolved dies, but can be reintroduced at a new year. It's a new game next year. Um, it's not supposed to be allowed on items that are up for ratification from last year. And it is debatable, which means that there's four minutes split between each side to discuss whether we should or should not consider the question. And when we put the question, it will be in the form of, should the motion be considered? And that means if you are in favor of considering the original proposal, you would vote yes. And if you want to kill it for this year, you vote no. A two-thirds vote against consideration kills the motion. Very well. The chair recognizes Mr. Illingworth of the Nitpicking and Flyspecking Committee to make a motion that is on, I believe, page 29 of your agenda, item yep. B26? Yes. 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 Thank you. Page 29. Uh, we spotted that postpone, we couldn't chair, postpone any. Pick the microphone up and hold it you up. think, right? Uh, that you couldn't postpone any item, any constitutional amendment beyond the end of this meeting, and we wanted to postpone indefinitely to happen for uh, new mo business, but not for existing business motions awaiting ratification. So uh, we would like to move to insert the words pending ratification after consideration of a constitutional amendment in Rule 1.2 so that postpone indefinitely will work properly for new business, please. Motions that come out of committees do not need to be seconded. Is there any objection to adopting this amendment? Uh, is there any objection to suspending the rules to allow the amendment to take effect immediately? Hearing none, the rules are suspended. The motion is amended. Uh, the rule is amended, uh, amended immediately, takes effect immediately, and now postponed indefinitely has the intent, the intended effect. Thank you, Mr. Well, Illingworth. I'll go ahead. And, I guess I'll go ahead and sit down for the rest of the overview here. No, maybe not. Let's see. Okay, let's move on to, there we go, item seven. Today is the preliminary business meeting. We are required, the things we must get done is setting debate time limits on constitutional amendments. That's the only thing we absolutely have to do. Anything we don't get done here, and that you can see up here we have agenda setting, debate time limits, and any technical issues, committee reports and resolutions, and nominations for the WSFIS Mark Protection Committee. That's the other thing we have to get done. Those required elements we, we will get through. Anything we don't get through here today, if we, if we run out of time, which we will adjourn no later than 1245 to allow this room to be turned over, uh, we, will go, we will start tomorrow's meeting where we left off. Tomorrow is the first main business meeting where we will have the elections for the Mark Protection Committee. We'll begin debating and voting on constitutional amendments. Um, the, we are scheduling at the moment, and we may discuss that later, a committee of the whole or a more informal discussion on selected proposals, and as I mentioned, any unfinished items. Slide eight. Uh, the site selection is the first and special order of business at Saturday's meeting. We'll start with the announcement of the 2017 Worldcon results. We'll have the first presentation for that, for that 2017 Worldcon. We'll have up to 15 minutes of question, uh, presentations and questions for the 2016 Worldcon. 
and to up to five minutes of presentations from any 2018 Worldcon bids. Because of the time constraints placed on us by the large agenda, we do not plan to have any presentations for years beyond 2018. There is a Fanish Inquisition session today at 4 o'clock, I believe. Following adjournment of the site selection business meeting, we, but, but not before noon, we intend to have the Worldcon chairs photo session here on this stage, and we will need some people's help to rearrange tables and chairs to make that happen. In addition, we will tend to business on Saturday, not completed on Friday if necessary. We normally don't hold a meeting on the last day of the convention. At the moment, the, the head table staff have scheduled a Sunday meeting to to deal with anything not completed sooner and maybe to specifically schedule certain items for. This will be discussed a little further in the agenda. Once we have completed everything, and in particular once site selection business and all pending constitutional amendments have been resolved, the motion to adjourn sine die, or without date, is in order. That ends the Worldcon session, kills any business that has not been dealt with otherwise, and we're done for the year. <laughs> Let's go to 9 and then 10. All right. We are at the preliminary business meeting. And I did manage to get that done in under 10 minutes. Okay. We are setting the agenda for the main meeting. Amendments to proposals other than pending constitutional amendments are permitted at this time. If we refer an item to committee, that committee must report back to the main meeting. It is not in order to refer anything to a committee to report to next year's business meeting. If you want to do that, you have to do that at one of the main meetings. By the way, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are all main meetings. There's just three meetings of it. We'll do debating, uh, setting of debate time limits. The process will be that the chair is going to suggest a time for the, each motion. That number is going to be on the screen. If there's no objection, we'll use that time. If people call out other numbers, we will consider them in descending order, starting with the largest time, working downward by the method of filling blanks. The way that works is we'll vote on each number individually as a yes-no question. If you want one of the smaller numbers, you must vote against the ones above it. The first thing to get a majority fills the blank, and we don't even vote on the smaller numbers. And if we run out, we roll over to the next day. If we get to them, we'll start getting committee motions. Min yes, question. Uh, the member will state their parliamentary inquiry, and I'll have to restate it because you're not at a microphone. Could you come to the microphone, please? Yes, do help people who are in interior spaces to get in and out, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lisa Paddle, the question is just for anyone who may not already know this, debate time is total debate time, not per side, correct? That is correct, the question on debate time. Debate time is divided evenly between the two sides of a question. Items that are considered neutral, they don't apply to either side, or is divided evenly. If the debate time has run out on one side, any neutral time gets charged to the other side. Okay. Uh, there are various committee reports. The committee reports may include motions, those we know that are coming and that, uh, that are um, in the agenda already. If we get that far, any resolutions be, can be considered today directly. And uh, after the Mark Protection Committee gives its report, we will take nominations for the Mark Protection Committee, which is WSFIS's only permanent body. The election will be at the start of tomorrow's meeting. I could have sworn there was something else I meant to say there, but I can't remember what it is. I do notice that we have both the sign language interpretation and the CART. We have hearing impaired people here. Uh, do understand this is one reason you need to be clear what you're saying, come to the microphones, and do not interrupt other people. Talking multiple people, or sorry, multiple people talking makes it a lot harder for the interpreters to do anything in it, as is people stumbling over themselves like me. <laughs> and with that, at 20 minutes after the hour, I think we are ready to move into setting debate time. And a question, Mr. Yes, Mr. Oaks. Uh, point of privilege, uh, please be careful because of the cart system. Do not walk in front of the projector over there. We have had several people cast shadows on the cart, and that is undoubtedly inconvenient for anybody using it. Yes, we'd please ask people to exit through the doors through 300A in the rear of the room where you entered. Thank you very much.
Can those people who are seated right, because not everybody can see where the projector is, if you're seated right by the projector, can you point at it helpfully? Thank you. <laughs> okay, before we actually move into debate time, is there, are there any questions regarding procedure or agenda? Okay, uh, we should come to the microphone, please. Mr. Adams. I get Dr. Adams. I may forget everyone's ti honorific titles. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Andrew Adams. Um, the only question postponed indefinitely since it is uh, a new uh, issue that we're dealing with. The debate time is initially set at four minutes. Is this in order to make a motion to change that or is that a specific unchangeable debate time? The motion to change debate time limits is applicable to it. It takes a two-thirds vote to change debate times. All right. Any other questions? Okay, let's go move into setting the constitutional amendments. First up, we have four items on the agenda that are passed on from last year. There is no debate or amendment allowed here. Well, there's debate, but it would be pointless. Um, there is uh, no amendment allowed here. All we're doing is setting debate time limits. Uh, the chair observes that item A1, he is one of the lead sponsors on. I will be recusing myself from the debate, and Mr. Dashoff will be doing the, chairing that one. Is there any objection to 12 minutes? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start getting, now, now we need to start keeping track of the numbers here. Okay, the initial is 12. 10 has been suggested. Any other numbers? 20. That's all right. Question, 12, 20, 12, and 10 so far. Question, yes in the back? Five. The chair does actually suggest that people give even numbers to make the timekeeper's job easier, but okay. I'll come hunt you down. Two. You give me odd numbers. I hear two in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Any others? That's all. Okay. On the, we start with 20. All those in favor of 20 minutes, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? That is not adopted. Uh, next is 12. All those in favor of 12 minutes, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. The chair believes the affirmative has it. You, once a serpentine count on it. Uh, the chair's prepared to accept that the negative has it if people will withdraw the request. Uh, let's, try, let's try 10. All those in favor of 10, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. The affirmative has it, 10 minutes is adopted. Uh, well, that's, that's what you do, okay. He's right about process, I gotta admit. All right. Item A2 is a story by any other name. The chair, th this would um, uh, broaden the uh, definition of what a story is to include works of audiobooks and such. Uh, the chair suggests six minutes. Is there any objection to six minutes? Ten. Ten? Also and four. Four? Uh, any others? All right. We'll start with 10. All those in favor of 10 minutes, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. That is not adopted. Six minutes, all those in favor. Hands down, those opposed. Six minutes is adopted. Item A3 is called Hugo Finalist. This is a terminology change. It modifies what we've been called, what we have historically called nominees as the people on the final ballot and changes their name to finalist. Uh, the chair suggests two minutes. Is there any Sorry, is there any objection to two minutes? Two minutes is adopted. <laughs> Item A4 is, a modif is the WSFIS membership types and rates. This would uh, prohibit Worldcons from selling a membership for less than the cost of a supporting membership that included any of the voting rights associated with a supporting membership. The chair suggests four minutes. Are there any other times? Two minutes. Two minutes. Sorry, other numbers besides four and two? Six. Any others? We'll start with six. All those in favor, six minutes. Raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed. Hands down. Those in favor of four minutes. Raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed. Hands down. Four minutes is adopted. And that gets us through that. The chair suggests we take our first technical time out at this point. This meeting is in recess for two minutes. <laughs>